Sup, suckers. <laughs> I don't know why I started like that. So, so we're in the Black Mage Village, we gotta figure out what their deal is. I guess we know a bit of what their deal is. But, but, I need to know that they're gonna be okay. Oh, Vivi! Hey, Vivi! What's up with him? Beavers! Oh wait, I don't think he went this way. This just gets to... Yeah, I don't think I can go around or anything. Nah. Please don't come back, you're very scary, human. Even though you got a monkey tail. Where are you going, BB? Let's see, where does... Oh, that just leads there, okay. Wait a second... Did he go over to the Moogle? Nope. <laughs> Still just... Still just Quinna trying to eat that chocobo. Quinna's a rude kid. But I respect their style. So what the heck? Maybe he wasn't here. Oh yeah! Phoebe, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Qbert, it's... it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Grr, I hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You looked very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. What about you, Qbert? Uh, sure, I'll rest. Yeah, we'll call it a day. It sounds like some kind of cutscene is going to happen that Quinna's not a part of. Oh, what's Vivi doing? A sneaky Vivi. Qbert, Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. Don't make me do my sassy pose. I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Hmm. But he's just a baby. Think about it. Oh, Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or say nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Mm, maybe, just maybe, he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah, a place where he belongs. Oh no, is he gonna think about leaving us? Hey, Qbert, when you said home... What's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time... There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Qbert? Oh yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left the home of his adoptive father and went to a, on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was a blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adopted father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcome Tim home. No way. The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Wham pow, wham whack, wham wham bam. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home. Maybe. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Oh, viewers.
And yeah, now we know a little bit more about Qbert. Hello, nice to see you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words. But you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends have stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. Geez, only a year. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop, and maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in this village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... Jeez. Poor black mage. Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Dagger? Cubert, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of the continent. The people of Condipetti said there was a place called a Sanctuary where entrance is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden in on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Hmm. Maybe we can find out more if we go there, and maybe save my mother. I'm more interested in killing your mom, but okay. <laughs> oh, where's Vivi? We can cross that bridge when we come to it. If Vivi says he's staying behind... Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in this village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I'd get to spend some quality time together. <laughs> what you say? You you no can leave me here, I starve. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go everyone. To Kandipeti and to the sanctuary that lies beyond. Are we gonna have to get fake married? <laughs> I hope, I hope it's it's me and Quina, or Quina and Vivi. Nah, Quina and Dagger. That'd be the best. Oh yeah, I can turn off encounters and just fast forward because we've seen this stuff. Whoa, this this, this angle's kind of tripping me out. It's like too much top down. Uh, uh, where am I? Oh there. So the sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin dwarf is block way out from shop on right side. No can get through. Hmm, well let's just try to go as far as we can. Alright, so back to the land of guys who talk in a way that's difficult to read. <laughs> You don't have any new magna for me or anything, do you? Nah. I'm gonna save real quick, just in case. I'm actually on the third slot, even though, still, it means nothing. I still think it's really funny that Quinna said, what was it? A rally, ho yourself. <laughs> hey, I want to get through here. Never. Never. Only those who've received the ceremony can piss. <laughs> can piss. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to his holiness. And where is his holiness? I didn't can where he is. I don't know where he is. I assume we have to go over to that boat. The boat that they said they didn't know what a boat was. But they still called it a boat. Which I think was over here. <laughs> the layout of this place is all crazy. This guy looks like a holiness kind of guy. Hey, mister, are you the holy guy? <laughs> I, I'm Father David. <laughs> Father David. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well, a priest has much to worry about, you see? Yeah, whatever. Look, we want to get past this village. <laughs> Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is that ceremony about, anyway? 
Well, after man and woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on a pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So, basically, it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? I didn't know Kenya were his lab, but methinks he understand. So we can go to the sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Oh, hey, Dagger. So, yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched, but there's no way we'd actually... Let's do it. What? <laughs> Say you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, see? But we have so few young folks new days. We done to 99 couples. I was worried about that very thing. But what's the harm? Now we can't even have our hundred ceremony. <laughs> He's still in shock. Uh, Dagger, what's going on? Spirits of the mountain, spirits of the wood. Uh, now how did I get into this? Watch over this man and woman as they begin their journey. We gotta do this ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Uh, that's traditional. <laughs> now, hold on a sec, Dagger. Don't you get it? This is marriage. Marriage. No kidding, but we have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. Please tell me Vivi and Quinna are also gonna get married. <laughs> They could tell him Quinn is a girl. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health. Of course we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry you through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? And the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that last night in the Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. Oh man. May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dagger, now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss. Oh my god, that pose. Oh my gosh. You 90s anime loser. Playing hard to get, eh? Happy fit. Now you need to announce your joining to the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? We have to follow tradition, lad. Ah, oh, well, time for us newlyweds to make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. Cubert, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? But you could just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, why don't you guys get married too? What? Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Dagger and I can go announce our marriage. <laughs> I mean, you're way too old for him, but, you know. Oh my god! Have the strength to carry you through the trials. And the wisdom to follow the path. <laughs> May the blessings of heaven be upon man and woman. Be upon small puppet boy and large hunger beast. <laughs> I'm so happy. M me too. Quinna, you better not be from a species that eats its males. Like a spider. Hi guys, we're the newlyweds, Cubert and Dagger. Rally ho, happy fit. Off to the sanctuary then, are you? That's right, will you let us through? Rally ho, of course. Safe journey to both of you. Where's the other new couple? Let us be off, my darling. Thief, huh? Oh, Mog, hurry! Koopo, stop, thief, stop, thief! What's going on? I don't know, let's go take a look. They got away. Foy, foy. <laughs> ah, we can now go any farther. Does anyone live out here? Of course, no, it's forbidden. Oh, young toothies are always snitching food. Oh yeah? I'll catch him next time. <laughs> hey, newlyweds. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> so you had your ceremony, right? Yeah. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. <laughs> that was really cute and dumb. Yeah, oh, man. Oh. Um, what's up, girl? Hey. Gotta see if I can do my little girl voice or whatever. Kupopo! Hurry, Mog, before we get caught! Kubo! What's wrong, Mog? Kubo! Wait, don't leave me here! So 
sigh, stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle, is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. He has a tail, though. Huh? Ah, uh, help! Don't eat me, I won't taste good. It's true, I taste awful. You heard her, Quinna. I think too bad. <laughs> but Moogle, that ran away a very strange color. I go find and eat it. No, don't! Ah! Gotcha. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt. I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding? I do have a name, you know. Yeah, so this is Aiko. She's a horned human. She's age six. Oh my god, she's only six. She's just a tiny, tiny baby. Gender female, dominant hand right. So yeah, firm. The name's Aiko. Shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduced yourself first. You got a problem? <laughs> Are they introducing an actual ship for Vivi right after that joke one? I'm Dagger, and this is Vivi. Yeah, what about you? Me? I'm Qbert. Qbert, alright. So, Miss Aiko, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. Ha ha ha, you sound just like Quina. Well, did they really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh no, they're gonna eat Mog. I don't think Quina would eat a Moogle. <laughs> Do you live nearby, Aiko? Yeah, beyond this path, I'm sure Mog went home. Why don't we take her home? Yes, anything for my lovely wife. <laughs> you two are married. Yep, we're newlyweds. No, no, we're just friends. <laughs> Sorrow. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I want to be your friend, too. All right, then, let's go to our new friend's house. So yeah, now we got an Aiko. Boop, boop, boop. So she has flutes for weapons, and you can see that she is also a white mage. So she, um... Her and Dagger tend to be a little redundant, depending. Let's see, what do I need to learn most? Loudmouth, because that prevents silence. Oh, she already has a summon! Um, so yeah, she's also a summoner. And she's got Fenrir. Ooh, auto Regan. Automatically cast Regan in battle, nice. Hope I can get some other people that. Um, uh, let learn High Tide. And hopefully I'll get some more ability points soon. Oh, she's already level 20! If I recall, her magic is actually a bit stronger than daggers, but she's very squishy. Is this the thing I can interact with? Redstone is set on is set on the stone. Take it out. Received redstone. Hmm. And they got oglops. I guess they're like cockroaches. They're all over the world. <laughs> Are they leading me? Wait, was there anything else I could climb? Guess not. Oh, Moogles! Siltskin! You want to buy a set of Magic Tag, Tent, and Ether for a 666 gill? <gasps> Satan Moogle! Thanks, buddy. With this money, I can continue my journey. What is the Magic Tag? Oh, there. Cure Zombie. Oh, pfft. Whatever. Suzuna, oh, I have a letter for you. What do you want to do, Kupo? Give Suzuna a letter. Thank you for delivering mail from Mogmat. Mogmat just moved to a new village. I was worried about him, Kupo. It's been six months since I started living in Kondipiti. The food here is great, and the people are very nice, Kupo. But but the only thing I can't get used to is the Rally Ho. I keep saying Rally Kupo. Village life sounds hard, Kupo. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery. Received Kupo Nut. Oh! I wonder if that's because I have to hit a certain number of deliveries or something. But that is excellent. I don't know which one of those two paths I should have taken, but... Hmm. Oh, there's a hole. Put redstone in here. Put in redstone. There's a hole. Leave it alone. Can I not take the redstone back out? Huh. Oh, I think I remember on the missable item list I saw, like, three differently colored stones. So maybe I need to find the other two and put them all in there. Curious. Boop, boop. 
What's that? that the sanctuary? Looks kind of like a big Yggdrasil tree or something. <laughs> Look at... Oh, for a second I thought Eiko was clipping through the vine, but it's just another vine that's in front of them. What the... Ooh! They've given us a little boss battle to test out Eiko's powers. What is this guy? Quinna, did you hulk out? Yeah. <laughs> bondage. Earthquake. Hill diggers. Oh, I should probably go ahead and heal. Oh, I do have Kira now. Well, so we got to summon Fenrir. That's important. Terrestrial Rage. <laughs> so yeah, Fenrir in this game is like a dog with a giant golem friend. Eiko, was that an Eidolon? I didn't know you could use summon magic. How oh, cool. I like that they had a little cutscene for that. If you notice it. Knockdown. This guy hits pretty hard. Counterattack. Nice. Forgot that I had that now. So, hmm. She doesn't have arrow or anything yet, does she? Let's see what it looks like when she attacks. You can see she's the Moe member of the party, obviously. But she has a really weird outfit that's like skin tight around her like torso, but then she has these big baggy pants that have these big holes so you can see the crotch area and stuff. And it looks okay in this model. It looks like cute and you can't really see all the details. But in her big 3D render, like official art, it looks pretty weird. <laughs> God, this guy does not want to be stolen from. I guess I can keep summoning. This guy still just looks so ridiculous. He's like a giant evil Muppet. What does he want with us? Terrestrial Rage! There, see, that's a short version of the animation. I'll have to see if... Um, I forget if, like, she can learn Ramu and... Dagger can learn Fenrir. I don't know if they can learn all the exact same summons. That'd be convenient. Pira. Friggin' What he can cure... Some bullshit. Oh, she can also... Reflect, confuse, blind, oh yeah, and float. I don't know if that would help at all. Let's see if I can blind him. I just got more terrestrial rage for you. Let's get out of here, Team Rocket. <laughs> He's got some absolute territory going on. He's very sexy. Probably not. This guy's pretty tough. Hip hop. Of course, um, in Japanese, hip meat is used to refer to the butt. I think that the word hip means butt. And for the life of me, I could not find out if they have a word for what we think of as the hip. It doesn't seem like they do. 
Yeah, obviously that was a butt attack. Just friggin' get out of here! Or let me steal from you, either one. I might start fast forwarding if you don't knock it off. I finally stole something, but it was a mithril fork, which I already have. So whatever. I like the idea of shooting him off into space with my giant earth fist and high speed. There we go. Get out of here. Nice. That big monster just shows up from time to time. Oh yeah, I, I realize my VV and my echo voice are probably about the same. I usually just run away. But you're a pretty good fighter, Echo. Dee, <laughs> thanks. Hey, how come you can summon Adolons, Echo? I thought you could too, Dagger. Well... Not usually. Hey, have you always been able to do that? Of course, my grandpa and everyone else did it all the time. What do you mean? Hey, that's not the way to my house, that's the way to the Aoife tree. This way to my place. I was only looking at the mountains. The e the Aoife tree? I thought it was called Sanctuary. Huh? Oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the Aoife tree. The Aoife tree? Let's go! I assume, yeah. I don't know how else you would say it. I eat Aoife tree. <laughs> the Yellowstone there. I just want to see what will block us from actually going there. Oh, it's a world map! Huh. Well, I guess I better not go there then. That's for later in the disc. I believe that is the end of disc two. Oh, yeah, since that's three stones, I'm gonna go try taking those to the the place. I have to get back up there. Can I? Yeah. I wonder if there's uh, random encounters here. How would I know? Hey, you want some stones? Right in your right in your hole? Did that do anything? Maybe there's one more. Huh. Whatever. So I have to go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this also takes me to the world map. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much else we can go to on this particular section besides where we're going to. Here's a big old lump. Hubert, this is my home, Madain Sari. Can you give us the title card? You live here? It's a pile of rubble. Dagger. What happened here? This place is in ruins. Madain Sari, village of lost summoners. Kubo, Kubo, Kubo! Moka, Moko! Chimomo! Kubo, Kubo! Momatos, Morrison! Where's Mog? No, Mog got eaten. Oh yeah, where's Quinna? Mog! No. <laughs> A sneaky little Mog. Here he comes. He's got a poofy chest. Coop, coopo, coopo. No, I'm not mad. But don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Coopo, coopo. Cuber, follow me. She's friends with a bunch of moogles. It's very moe. 
get to work, you guys. Koopo, yes, ma'am. Oh, can you stay here with me, Koopo? Okay, come on, Koopo. Whoa, he got small and disappeared. Did that Moogle go inside your dress? Yep, Mog always stays with me. Koopo. <laughs> Just showing you I can. Cooper, come sit over here. Hey. Tell me more about yourself. Tell me. Oh, does she have a crush on him? Sure, I want to know more about you too, Aiko. Really? <laughs> For instance, the Adelon. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No, what I want to know is, what kind of foods do you like? What kind of Adelons do you like? What kind of Moogles do you like? What kind of girls do you like? <laughs> I like that she's a baby, so she actually thinks that this guy's cool, even though nobody else does. I've never met anyone like you before. Dagger? What's wrong? You look dazed. Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? Mm. Ah, you're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? Are you and Dagger really just friends? Seems like you guys are something more. <laughs> well, yeah, we're more than friends. So, what are you guys? We're a team. <laughs> we're Nakama. <laughs> a team? Yeah. Vivi's also part of the team. Hey, where did he go? Is it sort of like me and the Moogles? Something like that. All clean, Koopo. Thanks, Mocha. I'll be right there. And did she clean out, like, an in area for us? I'm gonna start cooking. You have to come eat at my place later, okay? There's still stuff I want to ask her. Let's accept her invitation. Okay. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. Oop, active time event. Vivi's feelings. How you feeling, buddy? Little guy? Mr. 288 told me that I understood what it means to live and die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where do we come from? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Hmm. Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Aww. Yeah. Thinking about mortality. I'm a little tired. Can I drink from this fountain? Yeah. Oh, I got a Libra. Now I have two Stellazio I can turn in. Oh, Dagger's feelings. Everyone's got feelings. A village of summoners. I read about them in a book once, a tribe that possesses a power to call forth Adelons. Adelons. Knowing that I had Adelons inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me using the Adelons she stole from me as tools of war. I thought I would kill my Adelons if Kuja was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all this now? It must be the location. This place feels so familiar to me somehow. Mm. This is a restricted area. Restricted? What's that then? Kubo? <laughs> Gwenna. Cubert, this place only rocks in sand. I eat star sand once, but sand here not food. Water look clean. <laughs> Squee! Hey, don't take it so hard. They're a special case. You, you, you do whatever the heck you want. Jeez, what a dump. <laughs> it must have been like this for at least ten years. What can Echo possibly feed us? <laughs> oh no, Echo's feelings. Thanks for cleaning. You guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my hero, Cubert. Oh no. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Cubert and Dagger are dating yet. Dagger has been slow to catch on to Cubert's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm gonna cook lots of yummy food and show Cubert what a good homemaker I am. Oh man, where have you been learning all this stuff, Aiko? Also, she looks really funny right now. There's like, like her head looks like a weird bobble head that's disconnected. Koopo, it might work if you cook good food, but Aiko screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. 
I know, that's why I can't screw up. You're all gonna help me. No. Koopo po, Koopo. You're all gonna help. I'm gonna cook my specialty, rock fisted potato soup. <laughs> Here it is. Koopo, yeah, that's delicious. But the last one you made tasted so bad, I thought my pom pom would fall off. Just stew. Yeah, I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? Koopo, how about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. <laughs> what are these dishes? That sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock fisted potato stew and barbecued fish. Let's see. Who should go fishing? Oh man, I don't freaking know. Um, Mocha, you're a liquid. You probably know about water. Go, Mocha. Koopo. Who should go dig up potatoes? Um, Momotose sounds kind of lazy like Comatose, so I'm gonna send Chimomo. Go, Chimomo. Koopo. Momotose, you help me in the kitchen. Koopo. Did I make the right decisions? I don't. Why would I know that? Wait a second. Okay, so wait. Momoto said they liked the potato soup, right? And fishing. Chimomo said that they were they're the ones who suggested fish. Uh and 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 I think Mocha complained about my cooking, so maybe they they know how to do cooking good. I don't freaking know. Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. Oh, girl. You know we're going to have all the party members. Doesn't matter if you can cook. Vivi? God, I can't believe she's six. <laughs> What's up? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay, thanks, Gubert. Hmm. Kupo, please wait. Thank you for waiting. Lady Aiko says the food will be ready soon, Kupo. I'll take you to the Adelon Wall in the meantime. Please follow me. Hey, this one's name is Mordison. The Adelon Wall, huh? Aiko's kitchen, oh boy. Did we screw it up? How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Qbert. And there's that quiet boy, Vivi. I guess I should cook for a dagger, too. And all you guys, Mog, Moko, Mocha, Chimomo, Momotos, and Morrison. Will you put water for, on for all the people I listed? I'll get the ingredients. Kupo. What about Quinn? Um, how many people do I need to account for, Kupo? Oh my god. Okay, wait, so there's me, <laughs> Vivi, Dagger, the Dane, and there was like seven Moogles, I want to say? Wait, okay, yeah. Oh, Qbert, me, 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 Dagger, Mong, Mongo, Mongo, Jim, Mongo, 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 Morrison, that's ten. But I feel like we should, you should always have one extra in case of Quinnas. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, lots and lots of nuts. Should I put in that Oglop I found in the Contibetti Mountain Path? No, no Oglops. Thanks. Oh no, this is going to be a disaster. Get the water going, a good shake of salt. Potato, potato, pota pumpkin bomb, another shake of salt. Lots and lots of nuts. I caught one, Kubo. It's heavy, Kubo. Are you okay? Um... Let Mocha cook and lend a hand. Keep stirring, Mocha. Don't let it burn. This is big. Yeah, oh, I made the little one fish. We'll put it together on three, okay? One, two, three. Oh, Quinna. Ah! Oh man, I definitely screwed that up. There was the Adelon Wall, the restricted area over here. Oh, looks like it. Moko was very proud of his role as the Adelon Wall Guard. Aiko's decision to show the Adelon Wall to outsiders upset him. But we Moogles love Aiko. He'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The Adelon Wall has been protected by Aiko's summoner tribe for generations. Summoner tribe? I'm gonna get Dagger, she can use summon magic. Is that true? I'll be waiting. Alright, so I gotta go get a Daggy. There's the Daggy. Hey Dagger, come with me, I'll show you something big, summon magic stuff. 
Summon magic. Yeah, it's called the Adelon Wall. Can I actually go out and save? Yeah, so I'm gonna call the video here. But we, we met a new party member. We're gonna learn a bit about maybe Dagger's past. We're learning about all kinds of things about people's past this episode. Everyone's thinking about the fact that they're gonna die. Memento Mori. So I'll see you next time, and have a great day!